Welcome back, BC. Mark here. Thought I'd post a honey hole findings video. It's been some time. I don't get a chance to uh, visit the Goodwills, uh, Salvation Army thrift stores too often. And when I do, I never find anything. I have one item to show you uh, from Savers. This is the uh, spectacular uh, Shirley Bassey. This is still sealed, $3.99. Savers never has anything in my neck of the woods. Uh, they have beat up albums and the way they're pricing their items. Uh, when I stopped in, they had a Dan Fogelberg album for $7.99. And I think they had a Billy Joel for $5.99 in terrible shape. So I'm not sure who's making those decisions, but uh, not very good ones. The rest of the items are from the Honey Hole. And the first one is a autographed album by Link Ray, Bullshot. This is from 1979. I've never really taken the time to get uh, too far into Link's catalog. He is a phenomenal guitar player. This album rocks. Uh, really, really excellent. Switchblade is just a fantastic uh, song. Fever has a great guitar riff. That's by Anton Fig, Rob Stoner, and Doug Ray. Uh, just a really great album. I'm going to... Uh, make it a point to uh, explore his catalog a little bit more. This is a promotional copy. And uh, my friend was a pretty good friend with uh, Link. He has about 12 or 15 albums that uh, Link signed for him. Some nice uh, photographs, some agent photos. It's my understanding that the last few uh, years of his life were kind of rough for him, but uh, he was really generous with his time and uh, just, Kind of had a great friendship with uh, uh, my buddy. So nice to have this. He also gave me a frame, so I'm going to put it in the frame. We'll continue with the 45s. And this is a UK pressing of Sam Cooke, Wonderful World. And apparently this was uh, for a 501 uh, commercial, a Levi's commercial. Uh, they must have uh, leased the, uh, the song. So that's kind of neat. on the uh, RCA label. Next one is by Simple Minds. Don't you forget about me. Lay your hands on me, the Thompson Twins. The Tubes, she's a beauty. That's on capital, of course. The next one is by David Bowie, Fame, Fame 90, The Gas Mix. Really, really cool sleeve. Opens up. You get this awesome picture of David. Is that not a fucking rock star or what? So rad. So I was really happy to pick this up. Billy Cobham. Stratus, part one. This is a white label promo. Billy's a phenomenal uh, jazz fusion drummer. I don't know why I took that out. You can, you can, you can see through the plastic. Rita Coolidge, Fever. Flip side, my crew. This was cool. This is by Dust. Love me hard. And this is a uh, quite a valuable uh, single, I believe. Promo only. Karma Sutra. All the things she said. Simple Minds. It's a band called Sprinkler, and they were on the Sub Pop label uh, from the early 90s. And the last one is You Got Lucky by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Love that one. So those are the 45s. Picked up this box set. This is Connie Francis, Souvenirs. 
really, really nice. Some great photographs. She was uh, quite the star in her day. And this is uh, quite a desirable box set. You wouldn't expect it to be, but it's uh, one of the more desirable sets. Lots of great classic album covers. Picked up a few neat books. Brian Wilson and the Beach Boys, How Deep is the Ocean. White Boys Singing the Blues, The Black Roots of White Rock. I started reading this book. It is excellent. Sing your heart out, country boy. And this is a celebration of the songs that have made country music the most popular music in America with over 300 songs and complete discography. Really nice. Outlaw Blues, Paul Williams. Mystery Train, Images of America in Rock and Roll Music. This is an excellent book as well. So I picked those up. All right, what every record collector needs in their basement or their record room. A in-store promo of John Travolta. Can't Let You Go. And that was on Midsong International. All right, let's continue with the albums. The first one is by Herbie Mann, Reggae. And this is with the uh, Tommy McCook Band. I know what you're thinking. This is a sleeper. This is a great album. Phenomenal. I know, Herbie Man. You're thinking, God, kind of lame. Side A. 19 minutes of My Girl. Reggae version. Really hot. Really smoking uh, side. Uh, side 2, they cover uh, Oblade Oblada, um, Rivers of Babylon, and Singing Shepherd Blues. Uh, really good album. I picked this one up because he just wanted a couple bucks for it. I wasn't expecting a lot out of it. I was pleasantly surprised. It's a good one. Next album is by Tim Rose. And this is a uh, radio station promo with the time strip. Uh, I hear he was supposed to be big. Never really uh, got over with the public. Kind of a country folk uh, style of uh, songwriting. I have not spun this yet, so... Uh, Looking forward to giving it a listen. Uh, Bernard Purdy played drums on all of the tracks, so uh, can't be that bad. Next one is by Doc Pomus, Send for the Doctor, The Early Years, 1944 through 1955. Really a uh, prolific songwriter from the early days of rock and roll. Rhythm and Blues. Next one is by Henry Mancini, The Blues and the Beat. And this is just a, a pristine copy. RCA Victor. Henry Mancini is one of my favorite composers. He's uh, written some of the most beautiful melodies of all time. Next one is Bessie Smith. The world's greatest blues singer. And she was uh, quite quite a character, this one. Had a rough life. And this is a 2LP set on Columbia. Just like new. And I think this collects uh, songs from the, uh, I would guess, from the uh, mid to late 30s. Uh, more so early to mid 30s. Love this album cover, Atlantic Honkers. This is a two LP set on Atlantic Records. Some of the greatest uh, saxophonists Arnett Cobb, King Curtis, uh, Willis Jackson, Joe Morris. Really nice. This was released in 1986. 
while digging, I found this original Star Wars calendar from 1978. Really awesome and beautiful shape. Let's see. My favorite, R2-D2. Some great photographs. Westwood Disco Sizzlers. Yes, I bought a disco comp. The service in nonsense is strength. Hooters, Johnny V. Jackie Wilson, 14 hits. The reissue on King. Jackie Wilson is one of my favorite R&B artists. And then the last item is a box set. Really beautiful box. This is uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. And I believe there are 10, uh, 10 albums uh, as part of this set. And this was put out by Charlie Records out of the UK. I really love Jerry Lee's uh, early Sunsides. And he was a wild man. I mean, when he was introduced to the public, banging on that piano, standing on it, uh, just going crazy. Just an innovator. Uh, made some really poor uh, life choices. I mean, you're a famous rock star. You have the pick of the litter. And you decide, you know what? I'm going to start a relationship with my 13-year-old cousin. That sounds like a uh, sounds like the thing to do. So it's just too bad. And after that, he uh, his career was never the same. Now look at the two lovebirds. Such a sweet Georgia peach. I believe this was put out in the uh, early 80s, so I'm assuming this was an analog cut. Some great pictures. This is such an iconic shot. I remember seeing this live performance as a kid, and I was just mesmerized by it. Just, uh, just incredible. Great balls of fire. Good rocking tonight. Wild one. Live and let live. It hurt me so. The guilty one. What I say. And I was wrong. There's actually uh, more than 10 albums in this set. Let's see here. Won't happen to me. Uh, there are 12, 12 LPs. Can't seem to say goodbye. And I think this probably captures all of his uh, son recordings. So that's really nice to have. All right, that's it. Thanks again for tuning in. Stay safe.